you so much for joining me today. I stumbled across this really fun shape. I really don't even know what to call it. It looks like a honeycomb, but it is not a honeycomb. Um, this would be a honeycomb of the exact same size. You can see the dimensions are the same for all the sides, but the difference is this angle is a 90 degree angle. So it would actually fit a square piece in that corner. Whereas these have 60 degree angles. So what we've got here is you've got a 60 degree angle, a square, and then another 60 degree angle. So you've got triangle, square, triangle. These are equilateral triangles. So that's what this shape is made of. They're all the same lengths, just a different size angle here. Let me show you how I based this shape. I'm not sure my thread is going to be long enough, but maybe it'll get me through the process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric and my paper, and you know that I like to finger press each side. And what that does is it gives me good creases and it lets me know that my seam allowance is actually the right size for the paper and that the fabric will cover the paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fold one corner. Now I'm gonna put a binder clip. I know there's quilters clips too. I'm gonna put a binder clip. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna help hold that one side. I'm gonna start somewhere on the opposite side. Now I know this won't move and it's on here very secure. And it's okay if you want to pin your papers to the paper, I'm sorry, pin your papers to the fabric as well. Hope you guys have been enjoying my, my channel and all of my videos. You know, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. All the links are in the notes for the show. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you don't mind. It really encourages me to continue to make more videos. So you can see I'm just going around here and I'm getting each corner. Oops. So you can see the idea. Anyway, so now that I'm here, I will take this off and then I will go and stitch and baste that corner. So you can see I've got one almost done there. So how do you put these together? What do you do with them? Well, let me show you something you can do. This is kind of neat. They are like honeycombs, but they're not. Honeycombs, the points do fit together, but they fit together at a 90 degree angle. These honeycombs, you actually need six of them to make an entire flower because of the size of the angles. So I can do that as my first row. And then I can take something that's contrasting, like these 60 degree equilateral triangles, and put those here. These are some really contrasting colors for sure. And then what I can do then, this shape actually fits right here. How cool is that? So that's one way that you can use this shape and have them all come together. Another thing you can do, this is on a smaller scale. Let's see, let me get somewhere I have enough of the same colors. It's like Lego blocks. So I can go around like this. And these can be my blocks that I fit together. Or Let's see what's another one that we can do. We can make really big flowers. I hope I'm not going too fast for everyone. Oops, I thought I had more red. How about a pink in there? And then we'll do another row because guess what? They fit too. And then just keep going. How fun is this? Anyway, I hope you guys love this video. 
please let me know if you're working on one. Find me on Facebook so you can share all the pictures of your progress, ask questions, meet more people. Um, anyway, have fun and happy sewing.